Alright, after a pretty long wait, the day finally arrived. When I saw a glorious PC gaming race would release this model, I immediately reserved an order. While opening the mouse, let's talk a bit. I've been using the Model O for around 4 to 5 months, and when I got a mouse, I wished it could have been taller. Personally, I prefer taller mouses because they can fit in my hand as I'm used to palm grip. When I got the SteelSeries Rival 600, I already felt that the mouse was very low for me. Its height is 43mm, but the Model O is even lower, only 37.5mm. It took me at least one and a half months just to get used to. And the only reason that I stick to the Model O instead of the Rival 600 is the weight and the look. It is so light to hold and the mouse is absolutely beautiful. Not to mention the surface of the mouse, the matte materials feel so clean to hold compared to the rubber grip. And today with the Model D, it will be the best of both worlds. Now look at the box. Glorious PC Gaming Race listened to the community feedback and updated the box for Model O to prevent cable bending and now the improvement is brought to the package of Model D. Unfortunately, my Model O came with the old package. Luckily, I did not have any technical issue, but there are some problems which I will talk later when I compare the two mouses. Bottom of the box is where you can find a CL letter, comics, manuals, some stickers, and two additional mouse feet. The length of Model O and D is pretty similar. For the grip, both sides of Model O are concave. In Model D, the left grip is concave, but the right side is convex. The Model O is 37.5mm tall, as mentioned earlier. The height of the Model D is 42mm. 1mm lower than the SteelSeries Rival 600. It really depends on the user reference, but you can see there is a big gap between my hand and the Model O. With Model D, the mouse fits more in my palm, and this suits my playstyle much more. Now let's take a look at the cables. Model O's default braided cable was very loose and I can feel the wires inside by squeezing it. Model D comes with ascended cable and it wraps around the wires much better. This also makes the cable smaller and stiffer than Model O. For me, the stiffness is very useful because it helps me keep the shape if I want to bend the cable upward to prevent dragging. For Model O, I had to use a paper clip to stop it from scratching against my mouse pad. Here you can see the Model O's default cable is worn because it scratches against the stitch of the edge of my RGB mouse pad. I could buy a mouse bungee, but a paper clip works. And with the Model O cable, it's very good at keeping its shape. I don't think I need to buy anything. After installing, the software for Model D could not recognize the mouse. So if you have the same problem, check out this Reddit link to flash the firmware again. Then the mouse will be detected. Despite looking similar, Model O and D have separated software. The software let you customize the mouse RGB, add macros, chain button response rate, blah blah. For DPI, I am usually playing with 500, but my hand now touches the mouse pad surface less, so this mouse slides easier than Model O. I feel a bit difficult to control my aim, so I am not sure if I should stick with 500 DPI's or lower it to 400. But this will definitely take me some time to get used to. 
The rest of this video are some CSGO deathmatch highlights when I was playing with this mouse. I was using 400 DPI's at that time and I am not a good player. This is a new mouse, new DPI, so please don't harass me if you see that I am a terrible player. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.